Hey everybody, it's Jenny Procopi from chronicbabe.com and you're with us today for another AWAP Wednesday video. If you haven't joined us before, AWAP stands for as well as possible. And at all things Chronic Babe, that's what I wish for you to just kick ass and take names no matter how sick you are and I know you can do it. So today's question comes from a fellow Chronic Babe as usual and she writes, I have a very supportive hubby who defends my honor when these situations come up, but we're both at a loss as to what to say when people get really obnoxious about my treatment options. As in, well, my cousin, my dad, my friend, my cat had that disc surgery and they were cured, why don't you try it? I feel obliged to spend a great deal of energy explaining my spinal arthritis and that I'm not a candidate for surgery because every disc is bad. I tend to get a little angry at the sheer volume of what is well-meant advice. Any ideas on how to deal with this without it taking an hour of arguing? This is a great question and one that so many of us face. I don't know a single chronic babe out there who hasn't had at least one person say to her, well, you should try this, well, you should try this, well, you should try this. I've had people tell me I should go visit certain parks in other states because if I sit under a specific tree, an angel will come down and bless me and cure my fibromyalgia. <laughs> and they really mean it. They really mean it. And that's the thing is like, it's coming from a place of love, but also a place of really big annoyingness. So let's talk for a second about boundaries because I think boundaries is a big part of your question. It's nobody's business how you treat yourself, how you handle your illness, what you do to feel better. It's only you, <laughs> your friend, your neighbor, your cousin, your nephew, even your boyfriend or your husband or your wife or your girlfriend or, or whatever. They don't, they don't get to say you, it's up to you. So now that we've established, like there's the boundary, okay? Um, let's think about how we handle these conversations. You know, first of all, you can always start off with a really simple, thank you for caring about me, I appreciate that. That's a really nice, like non-confrontational way to answer a suggestion and, and, and leave it there. Now, if you've got somebody who's really persistent and really bugging you, you can just say something like, you know, thanks again for your advice. I really appreciate that you care so much, but my doctors and I have this under control. We're doing the best that we can. And then if they keep being persistent, if they don't stop, you can just say to them, thanks for your opinion. I'm fine. Pass the dip. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to change the subject and stop defending yourself and stop trying to explain it and stop feeling like you owe everybody an explanation because I think that's why these conversations are taking an hour. And I know because I've been in them before many times. I don't do it anymore, but I used to. When someone is coming at you with lots of suggestions and it feels like they're questioning you because they are, they're questioning your judgment. They feel like they have better judgment than you. And our impulse is to explain ourselves and make sure they understand we've got it under control. The thing is, we don't have to do that. We truly don't. We don't owe anyone an explanation. I challenge you to think about these conversations as very simple conversational models. Somebody gives you some unwanted advice, you say thank you and move on. If they persist, you say thank you, we've got this, and you move on. If they still continue to persist, you say thank you, we've got this. How about them cups? <laughs> you say something to just totally change the conversation. And you know, worst case scenario, just walk away. You're like, oh, thanks. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you're at a party or whatever, and you're in a circle of people, walk away. I know it it's probably seems like it's easy for me to say that. And uh, you know, it's not, I mean, it is, but I can only say it because I've been there a ton of times and I know what works and what doesn't work. So the biggest advice I have for you, my friend, and for all chronic babes, 
And really for anybody in a conversation where someone is questioning your judgment and not honoring boundaries, is to remember that you don't owe anybody anything. You don't owe anybody an explanation for anything. So if you're not into the conversation and you want to change the subject, change the subject. And if the person won't handle that and isn't respecting your boundaries when you're clearly changing the subject, leave the conversation. I mean, it's just not worth it. You have got way more important things to do to focus your energy on than have an argument with somebody who doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. Am I right? Okay, babe, short and sweet. I hope that this has been helpful for you today. Um, if you ever have any questions, please feel free to email me. You can head over to chronicbabe.com, shoot me a message there, and I'll try to answer your question in a future video. If you liked what you saw here, I hope that you will like us on Facebook and YouTube and wherever else you find us and uh, share it with your friends. You never know who you might be helping when you share a video like this with somebody who might be dealing with the same kind of thing. And if you want to stay current on everything that's happening in the Chronic Babe universe, and I know you do, sign up for the Chronic Babe newsletter at chronicbabe.com. It goes out every week. You get a free subscriber toolkit with all kinds of goodies for learning how to be a kick-ass lady in spite of sick stuff. And you'll get notices about all kinds of upcoming videos and blog posts. And I have a book coming out in a few months, and I don't want you to miss the announcement about that. So head over to chronicbabe.com today and sign up for our free newsletter. Okay, that's it. I hope that until we meet again, you will be a wow. Mwah. Beep. I don't like the flip gloss. It's yucky. That's the chair. That's not me farting. <laughs>